Hey there, game makers, and welcome back to another enemy AI uh, video tutorial where we have this crawler thing here. And the idea is kind of simple. You just want to have, let's say, one wall instance or ground or whatever you want to call that, and then have this dude walk around it. And for that, basically, we have checking, hey, what do we have below us or bottom to the left or top or for example here to the right if you have something then we are kind of gliding on that thing and then we're just using the well the rotation of the image and also the um well the direction will be then the same and then just set one speed value and then it will just go around and then once again we're just checking all the time and then there is like at each corner one let's say floating spot where you you have nothing to the left to the right to the top and to the bottom and then boom you need to check like hey what was the last time so top then the next one is right and then for example bottom then the next one will be left and then this is how we kind of circumvent this in quotations floating time in the air and that's pretty much it so if you want to know how to do that in code in game maker then stick around this is wanna bindi i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing then why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course alrighty for spoilers i kind of did this system a little bit differently a few years ago which is this video here so that's mine also and i used and abused let's say instances and they were kind of redirecting which does work also but let's say you just want to have let's say one step event and you just face plant your enemy and then you want to be done with that and you don't want to you know do the additional instances just for redirecting then well this video is definitely for you so this is kind of an update a little bit more code heavy but not too much so once again just for explanation so basically we got our dude here he is uh, anchored at this green spot and then we're checking below 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 and then it's like oh now we are let's say uh, past you know where something is below or to the to the bottom to the right left there's nothing is basically in the air so we just say like hey what is the last position it was below so next one is then to the left and then we rotate this dude minus 90 degrees and then go down go down go down and then once again we are in the air and then we just say hey what was the last one it was to the left so this one is the next one so something a buffer so we once again rotate him correctly and then do 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 and then jet here same spiel rotate to the right and then once again we are in the air float rotate and then boom our rodent did uh, 360 and this is how the whole thing works so let's go into game maker just for explanation uh, and i will just you know post the code later on so i will just explain what's actually happening so first of all we need to have mm, four checks check below above to the right and to the left as said and then well i'm just drawing that and saving that into current side as a variable so basically and then we just you know assign that here but let's not get ahead of, of ourselves so first of all let's say do we have something below so our current y position plus one and then our object wall parent block whatever you want to have it doesn't matter this is up to you and then collision point will return if you have nothing no one so this little variable here or it will return the idea or whatever but we're just checking like hey, is there something or is there nothing and no one is the keyword for nothing so there's nothing there and then uh cool so basically we're just checking for below above and right and then we're just going through all those four things so for example this one line so we definitely have something below us and everything else is equals equals so basically there's nothing here in this part so we just say like hey if we just have thing, something below us cool then our cone side is bottom same for example if something is above us so basically it's just you know on the ceiling then top same for right and same for left just one here but this of course only works <laughs> partially because let's say we are going to the right or going downwards and then we are floating in the air we're just checking like oh what do we actually do if there's nothing to the left to the right above us and below us well then we're just taking the last position for example here bottom starting 
then we go to the left and so on so basically we just you know create kind of a circle movement and then the last thing is just apply that stuff so basically our current side what are we doing so for example if bottom if we are you know above something so something is below at the bottom then our image angle is zero and this image angle is also being set to our direction which is then the important part and then we just set at the very start well one variable once again current side and then speed of one and then that thing goes so let's just check it out because well that's the whole part here as you can see it's always just take, taking the last one and once if we are in this kind of suite or let's say this floating point then we just like mm, what do we do well we just take that and create a rotation and that's the whole magic behind it so why do we have something like where is this commented out basically you could do it like this and just you know say like hey i just want uh <laughs> if just something is below then we you know shortcut the whole part we just don't have to check all the other ones this does work also but it will do something wonky at the very beginning but well it will auto adjust but this does also work um for you just for explanation also our um, enemy or this crawler needs to be um, centered at the very specific bottom point so if you do something like this or for example if you misplace uh, the rat then it will do well this here Drrr. <laughs> do um i have no idea what that is but basically it will just you know spin around for eternity so just be aware it needs to be really precisely put one below or if you want to start off uh here can i rotate uh, yes let's do it like this you need to be always sticking to it so this is very very important if you for example don't do this uh well it will the, it will be all the time in, in in air and then it does not know what to do and it will just go through all the motion but well it cannot get out of it just be you know aware it needs to stick to the wall precisely at the beginning of course Alrighty, hopefully that was of interest to you guys and see you in the next video which will be something in godot or the cult of godot of course <laughs> or unreal because let's actually explore some other engines see you then in the next one and bye-bye.